What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. And today we are playing a six-player progressive game on Blackbeard's Wrath with... Um, alliances and fog on so first thing i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to turn on my lights and see who wants to be friends i've been having a lot of fun iterating fog and alliance settings because you get to see hopefully everyone allies up you get to see what's going on in the early game and yeah it looks like everyone allies up okay so i can turn on the fog or rather turn off the fog Let's see where I'd like to go. So I have a position out there. A lot of occupation in this continent. I'm probably going to lose that one. There was little I could do to stop it. Being that I had to go first. I would have liked to bolster this stack. I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to do so. Okay, so settings for this game are uh, Play with Friends Mode World Domination on Blackbeard's Wrath Auto Setup 60 Second Turns Expert AI. When playing Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz Dice with Alliances and Fog on, no Blizzards. And um, this is the thing that I've been playing with most recently is um, figuring out how to use a little bit of extra negotiating power with the Alliances. A little bit of extra vision and then figuring out when and if to accept the alliance when and if to offer and when and if to break in the first position we have myself uh kill pete strategy vcc uh with 1413 hours played 1785 wins and 655 losses in position two we have martin flying the flag of czech republic with 40 hours played 25 wins and 34 losses. In position 3, we have Astrogan from Turkey with 818 hours played, 986 wins and 494 losses. In position 3, we have Amanda Storm, a Discord mod, and a friend of mine. 746 hours played with 307 wins and 283 losses. In position uh, 5, we have Cyril Amano playing the flag of Switzerland with 525 hours played, 515 wins. And 572 losses, and rounding it out in the sixth position, we have Void Walker from the United States of America with 251 hours played, 150 wins, and 533 losses. So, what I am going to want to do, if at all possible, on my next turn is make sure that this position still exists. The saving grace for me is, unless Magenta attacks it, I will be able to occupy out here by the looks of things. Oh, Blue's going to take me. So the reason I'm focusing on this is, is um, one of the things you want to do in progressive is you want to be in a number of different places, if at all possible. So I'm mostly here with a little bit of here and there, but I want some there. Here's how the continents break down in Blackbeard's Wrath. It occurs to me I don't know if I even have a Blackbeard's Wrath video. Um, you have Labus plus three, Lonnais plus four, Blackbeard's Providence is plus seven, pretty large. You have Kraken Island, which is a four for two. You have New Drake, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for three. And Port Royal is a plus five. So there's essentially three islands. Yes, go that way. Yes, good. Now I can hold, now I can hold the stack here. And that's all I need to do on that turn. I don't want to block the road. Very easy and quick second turn. Okay. So now I'm in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions. It's a bit much. Um, I can look to consolidate some of this material and um, pull all of those into slightly larger stacks where I might be able to make my kills from. The theory in progressive is. Uh, you want to be in a number of different places because it makes you harder to kill. And 
it also gives you the most opportunities to make kills on others. Players are all playing fairly well. I can see that nobody is really overextending. So this will have the potential to be a reasonably long progressive game by the looks of it. Question here is, is any one, or is any one player going to be able to take any continent? And then in the absence of that, what does this map gravitate you towards? prioritize, incentivize in terms of positioning. I think it's probably better to be in these centralized locations on the islands, right? Rather than being in the spots, the nexus, where I usually like to hang out in the early game is the out-of-the-way places and then move to the more in-the-way places in the mid-game so that you can strike out from them. there I think no real harm to let them swing out they want to hold a pocket oh okay so white does go for a bonus So I lose one of my positions. One, two, three, four, five, six now. Nastrogram breaks immediately. <laughs> yup. All right. So we see the plus three. I'm trying to guard with a threat stack, but it's not very threatening at four troops. I have a feeling everybody allied up, so it's like essentially a non-fog game. So maybe there might be a moment... Towards the later round, yeah, <laughs> and Storm also hits him from the other side. So I'm the big loser in that equation, because I lose my three stack. This is an odd play to see such a large amount of troops co consolidated on one end. kill lines on Astrogan by the looks of it starting to appear All right this is probably getting picked off at some point and then Astrogan will only be in two positions which is dangerous white player's in four but he's going to lose that too potentially if he doesn't strengthen it
Let's see what Astrahan does if he adds troops here. Yeah, I'm happy with these two spots. So this spot I like a lot. It goes to one, two, three, four, five, six directions. Same with this. One, two, three, four. No. This one is out of the way. One, two. Only hits three, though. Yeah, but but from uh, from having fought with white, you can see we're both the short stacks now. It wasn't necessarily a bad play to go for a continent, but you do tend to need to guard it in that case. All right, Storm is thinking. Uh-oh. No bot. Get a card, get a card, get a card. Get a card. Get a card. Quick, quick, quick. No, it's a bot. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, just got a card in time. <laughs> okay, I'm in the first position. Now we, now we play this game of do we want to skip. So I can do that same sort of bluff that Storm just did. Except actually bluff it. Okay, blue looks like they're trying to move into the island here. Don't know what you can do about white six though. Eleven in the corner. I feel like some of that's all coming for me. Okay. Magenta is in three positions. I like where I'm at in terms of positioning. I have a lot of places. Um, so yeah, I think I am going to try and, and pull a sneaky skip and, and see if it uh, see if it takes. So the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to strengthen here with one. So I'm going to strengthen here with one. And I think I want to strengthen that one. But that one's probably better. Yeah. So we managed to keep this position in existence, and it was all the way to the right, uh, to the left on the map. I'm really happy with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we'll go to attacks. So. I don't think I'm going to get one. I think I'm going to make it appear like I'm botting out. So that they think that... Um, hopefully, white player gets a card immediately, and then the skip will have been successfully bluffed. Let's see if White gets a card. No, he skips. Okay, we're going. We're going to see how long that goes. Nobody wants to get the dog shit four match, so I don't blame them. So Castorian's going to skip too. Yeah, well, we'll get back to my turn and then I'll make a kill then. Because everyone's going to do it.
Yeah, everyone's card skipping. Okay. Cool. We got some dead air for you, ladies and gentlemen. And I am the start of it. So, blue, blue card skips, and then magenta. Yeah, okay. So, no harm, no foul. I'm still in the first position. I'll just get a card now. And there's slightly more troops on the board. Okay, so I consolidate these two positions here. I remove white. Um, Magenta has a, a place to put themselves into two positions also. They're in three at the moment. This is a cool thing to incentivize, right? Does Magenta choose to put a very large single position on this side of the board? Probably, because the only reason um, they would want to be separate They already have kill lines on me, so it doesn't matter, right? And you just lock up there. But that's a good thing for me, because now they're only in two places. Okay, so white continues card skipping. That is a odd one to see. Okay, asking if it's a card. I probably should remove these two. These two singles, asking to only be in three positions. I'm still in five. One, two, three, four, five. Five's okay. I really should have another one. Yeah, white white doing the second card skip I don't think makes any sense. But this is a cool block. This will encourage um, Magenta maybe to push into me. Oh, shit. All right, never mind. Magenta removes one of Storm's positions. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to like how she gets out of that one. Uh... All right, so I get the four match. Yeah. By this is fine, you mean you're pissed off? Um, yeah. Let's hope Ashley gets that final single picked off. And then he'll be in three places instead of four. I know I have a joker, so I know of a match coming up, but I don't want to get the 15 and then give someone the, the 20, right? White card skipping in the second round of skips was a bit of a monkey wrench, too. An already imperfect plan. Okay, white is in three places. Astrogan hopefully is about to be in three places. No, he gets that. Ooh, lucky, lucky. He's going to strengthen that territory. Stay in four places. Sure. All right, Storm Matches gets the eight. We know we're going to see some retaliation against Magenta. 
But revenge is a dish best served cold. Oh, just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. We're warming it up. Speaking of which, it is hot in here. All right, so blue is in four positions. Whoa! Blue's trying to kill white and take five cards. They succeed. Okay. White is the first player defeated. Blue matches in, gets the 12, which means... Magenta's going to get the 15. Bit early to make that kill. I think that was net negative on troops. But it looks okay for blue. I'll have to I'll have to go back and check. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just the objectively right thing to do there. Okay, so blue is in four places, holding five cards. I know I have a set. Magenta's going to set in and get the 15. Blue is guaranteed to get the 20 next turn. So maybe I hold out for the 25. I also should think about if I can make a kill. And if so, who that kill could be. Okay, Magenta has their majority position out here. And they just decide to knock me out of it. Okay, so now I'm going to have to set in or else I die. 53 to 7 is a really good play with friends record. Okay, so Magenta's playing it like it's fixed. Right, they went for a, a corner position. So now that I've been hit really hard, I'm going to reduce the number of positions I have on the board to three. Otherwise, I die. So they have to be strong. They have to be bigger than anyone can just set in and take. Still doesn't look good, right? It still looks like Magenta could eat me. They weren't really punished for taking my nine. Did they get a good roll on it? They lost five on the nine, not so bad. Okay, Storm sets in. Has a big 31 stack on this side of the board. Going for the kill on blue. Ooh, tough splits. Tough split. One, two, three. You gotta win the 2v1. Yep. Ah, no dice. Terrible. Blue's gonna set in, have five cards, and get the 20. 30. Oh boy. I turn off the lights on magenta. <laughs> Don't want them seeing what I can see. Man, it is so windy today. Can you all hear that? It is just crazy windy. Problem with um, breaking the alliance is it does say I am breaking the alliance. So it's, it's a it's a show of aggression, but magenta has been pissing people off, so I know it's not just me. Storm would probably be able to get him too. Let 
be a couple turns for me to be able to set in again. So I, I'm going to have to survive with these three positions for a while. Oh, but I got another Joker. Lucky, lucky. Okay. Two turns away. Can I survive? Okay, Astrogan turns out the light's on me, which means he's trying to kill me. Maybe not. Maybe he's worried about me killing him. lined up to kill Magenta, though. I think he can do it. Doesn't go for the kill. And take the four cards. Maybe he didn't see that he could. Alright, let's see what Storm does in this situation. like they're set up well to kill me too. I don't think I survive. I think Magenta removing my position here was fatal. So I know I have a set coming in. I just have to live long enough to be able to use it. And I don't think I do. I think someone kills me on this turn. Next to match is going to be Magenta. Oh, Astrogan is going for the kill. Okay, Astrogan is going to try to kill. Oh no. Oh no, he's going to push through my 19? He's going to go around. Okay. Cool. Astrogan kills Magenta. Gets five cards, matches in. This could be a sweep right now. I have a set on three, but I don't think I live long enough to use it. My only chance is if blue doesn't set in, I can kill them for five cards. And that's the out we have to play to. But most likely blue's going to set in at the 40, which means I get the 45. Doesn't look like Ashcan's going to kill me. I don't think Storm can kill me. Let's see what blue does. No set, no set, no set. Okay, sets and gets the 45. As long as I don't die. Oh, he's going for Storm. Okay. Cool, that won't set him in. No, he's going for me! Oh, damn it! What's the play? Is he going for both? I die. It's a 
Blue's trying to kill me and Storm simultaneously. Blue threw, he dies. Astrogan kills everybody. That's the game. Yeah. Oops. Yep. Okay. Yep. There you go. Okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Astrogan's gonna give Storm second. <laughs> As you should. Storm didn't throw. Storm got fucking slammed into. Alright, GG Astrogan. And there you have it, guys. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. Um, if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I, in I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays, and every other day I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.